the viewers of the Pioneer, how are you doing? I hope you're healthy and well. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you our report on the Russian-Ukrainian war. And soon we will share with you an interesting incident that happened behind the front line. As you know, there is an operation going on right now. And this operation has put the Russian army in a very difficult situation. The Russian army is about to lose its international prestige. Moreover, this situation seems to be caused by the Russian army's own mistakes and their morale is very bad for the Russian armed forces because of the operation launched by the Free Russian Legion in the last days. So the Russian armed forces are in a really bad tactical and training situation. Um, I have often uh, mentioned these events on the front line and the mistakes of the Russian soldiers on the front line caused heavy costs to be paid. And this time they made the similar mistakes within their own borders. Russian soldiers attempted a raid in the area where the Legion and the Russian volunteers were operating. However, this raid ended in a great disaster. So what are the developments on this subject? Let's take a look together. Before starting our report, I need to make a small reminder. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you the developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily map reports and reports on the agenda. I also read all of your comments on our videos, so please continue to express your opinions about our content in the comments with us. Let's just start if you are ready and the Pioneer reports. Russia is going through one of the most difficult periods in its history, and on the on one hand, they attempted invasion of Ukraine, which was initially characterized as a special military operation, but later lost its characterization and officially turned into an active war. On the other hand, the economic crisis in Russia, and on the other hand, the complex situation on the Russian territory in recent days, clearly reveals the difficult situation in Russia. And Vladimir Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, can do nothing to prevent this situation because he is responsible for this situation. The Russian people are also very complaining about this situation and their have been elections in Russia recently and Putin won the elections, but we've already told you how he won. At some point, Russian soldiers entered the voting booths and uh, the Russian citizens and forced them to vote for Putin and force and fraud them. So Putin may have been elected president, but Russia's problems don't end. And because the Ukrainian army is determinedly fighting to end the occupation of the Russian armed forces on Ukrainian territory, it is still going on. So, as it is well known, the ongoing operation in Belgrade is part of this plan, and officially the Free Russian Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps are not part of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, but both groups have supported the operations of the Ukrainian Armed Forces within the borders of the Russian Federation with the aim of ending the occupation of Ukraine. So, recently a report emerged that some personnel of the Russian Volunteer Corps were trapped in a building in the Belgrade Blast, and according to the allegations, during the ongoing operation in the Belgrade Blast, the personnel of the Russian Volunteer Corps were unable to resist after fierce clashes with the Russian troops, withdrew and took refuge in the building. However, this was a trap. Moreover, even if the Russian Volunteer Corps had not set this trap, the Russian troops had little chance of harming them, because the Russian soldiers sent to destroy the Russian Volunteer Corps were all very inexperienced. So Russian soldiers surrendered the building where the Russian Volunteer Corps was located, and the soldiers of the Russian Volunteer Corps were also inside the building. However, Russian soldiers had no chance to find them because during the advance, the Russian Volunteer Unit's personnel had dug a tunnel under the building. And in other words, if the Russian soldiers entered the building, it would suddenly be blown up. But the Russian Volunteers would not be in the building at that time. Quite a simple and effective strategy, but things did not go as the Russian Volunteer Corps expected. Of course, the building was not left completely empty. Another group of the, another group of the Russian Volunteer Corps personnel were present in the building and clashed with the units of the Russian Armed Forces, and these moments were recorded by the drones. The Russian soldiers were eager to enter the building and capture the Russian Volunteer Corps personnel. However, this eagerness cost them dearly because... When a Russian soldier was about to throw a grenade through the door of the building, he accidentally threw it into the area where they were, and the grenade exploded with a great noise. So it was only the Russian soldier's fault, and another mistake came from the operator. 
According to reports, during this attempted raid, the Russian drone operator mistakenly targeted Russian soldiers. It is also reported that some kamikaze drones hit Russian soldiers' armed vehicles, but this is not yet a confirmed report. But the Russian troops were first to make a chaotic retreat after the failed raid in the area, and the Russian volunteer contingent suffered no casualties. And moreover, the building was still intact and under the control of the Russian volunteer units. The personnel of the Russian volunteer corps were also surprised by the incident because they did not expect such a thing. They had expected Russian soldiers to enter the building and to destroy them with the help of the traps inside the building. However, the Russian soldiers had to retreat by harming themselves. An audio recording allegedly belonging to one of the Russian volunteers' units personnel was shared on social media, and the following statements were used in the audio recording in question. So, one group stayed inside the building and waited for the enemy, and the other group left the building using the tunnel we dug earlier, and those inside would leave the building through the tunnel and come to us if Russian soldiers entered the building. There was a lot of ambushes in the building. Probably none of the Russian soldiers who entered would have come out, but our friends should have been in the building to persuade them to enter the building. So, while we were waiting for them to enter, Suddenly, their numbers started to, cre- to decrease and they started to self-destruct. Then they suddenly retreated and left the area. We went to our commanders and our comrades in the building. Honestly, we wouldn't understand what had happened, but we couldn't believe that they were really in such a bad situation until we saw it. And it is turned out this incredible mistakes by the Russian soldiers was completely unexpected, and if the alleged audio recording is indeed of the Russian volunteer unit's personnel, it is remarkable that even they were surprised by the conditions of the Russian soldiers. The inexperience and mistakes of the Russian soldiers are often brought up, but the fact that they found themselves in a trap and suffered casualties is quite comical, to be honest. We expect the operation in Belgrado Blast to continue, but With the continuation of this operation, we can expect more similar incidents, and it seems that inexperienced Russian soldiers will lead to a complete loss of prestige of the Russian army. So, what do you think? What problems do you think the inexperience of the Russian soldiers can cause? Do you think that this audio recording really belongs to the personnel of the Russian volunteer corps? Or do you believe that the Russian army can stop the operation in Belgrade? Let me know in the comments, because you know that I read and I care, and I respond to all of the comments personally.